Hi guys, it's Alice and today I'm trying to choose what to read next. So I thought I would do another one of these try a chapter thingies. If you don't know, I'm basically just going to try the first chapter of a bunch of books and see which one intrigues me the most. And the last time I did this I did all translated fiction and today I'm gonna try some of these Persephone classics because I feel like reading one, I just don't know which one. This is a little bit of a weird spot to film this in because this isn't the most comfortable place to sit and read but it's so dark today and it doesn't look like it's getting any better and this is the lightest part of my apartment so here we are. Also if you can see glitter on my face it's because I played around with some glittery eyeshadows earlier and they literally got everywhere. So if I'm sparkly, that's why. Anyways, I'm gonna start by showing you the books that I've picked out and tell you a little bit about them and then we'll get to reading. The first one is They Were Sisters by Dorothy Whipple. I've read quite a few books by this author and I've really enjoyed all of them. This one is about three sisters whose lives go in completely different directions when they all marry three very different men. Second, we have got Mariana by Monica Dickens. I don't know a whole lot about this book, but I do know a lot of people love it. And I think it's about this young girl who is growing into a young woman in the 1930s. Then I have got The Far Cry by Emma Smith. And this is about a teenage girl in the 40s whose father suddenly takes her out of school and ships her off to India. Second to last, we have got The Making of a Marchioness by Frances Hodgins Burnett. Now, this author also wrote The Secret Garden, which is one of my favorite books, but I've never read anything else by her, and I actually don't know how many books she wrote. This one, though, is about a 30-something-year-old woman who lives alone and that I think has, like, a Cinderella thing going on in it. Lastly, I have got A Little Boy Lost by Marganita Lasky. This is about a man who returns to France after the war and tries to find a little boy lost five years before. And that's all I really know. So I'm just gonna work my way through these and tell you what I think as I go and I'm gonna start with the book by Dorothy Whipple. So I've now read the first chapter of They Were Sisters and I already really like it. Which is not that surprising seeing as I love so many of her other books. I really like the setup of this already, like we've met the sisters that the title refers to. And I just love Dorothy Whipple's books because they're so charming and almost like a little comforting. So this is a very strong contender. So this one starts off with a woman who doesn't know if her husband is dead or alive and she turns on the radio for a minute and there's talk of war so I'm assuming this is set during one of the world wars. She like runs off to this isolated place because she wants to be alone and that's all that really happened. The first chapter was only eight pages so I felt like I didn't really get into it but I think if I kept going I would. Alright, so the first chapter of The Far Cry was about 15 pages and I already feel like this is a lot more pacey than the other two books, like we've already established who the main character is and that her father is shipping her off to India. And I really like this and I am uh, sensing that choosing a book by the end of this video is gonna be a little difficult. <laughs> The first chapter of this was about 20 pages long and we've met a woman named Emily who lives in London and we've gotten to read a little bit about where she comes from and where she works and I'm already really liking this one as well. Now the first chapter of Little Boy Lost starts off at Christmas during the Second World War and we meet this man who finds out that his son is lost in like the war chaos. Now I did like this but I got a really like wintry vibe from it so I feel like maybe I'm gonna wait with this one and maybe start reading it when it starts snowing or something. That leaves four books to choose from which honestly is too much. Now I did include the Dorothy Whipple book because I knew I was going to like it and if I didn't like 
get on with any of the other books, I could just pick that one. So I think I might wait with that because I know I'm going to read it at some later date. Of these three though, I didn't really feel like I got far enough into this to really be invested. So I think I'm going to wait with this one as well. So we've either got The Far Cry or The Making of a Marchioness. And... I don't know. You know, I think I'm going to go with The Far Cry because, like I mentioned, it felt a little bit more pacey and I maybe feel like reading something like that. I also think it's going to be really interesting to see when this young teenage girl gets to India, so I think I'm going to go with this one. Okay guys, that was kind of it for today. I really do enjoy making these videos, it's really fun to try several different books at once. I actually didn't think that I was going to like doing that, but I really do. With these though, it was a little bit difficult to choose, like I don't really know if I chose the right one, I kind of want to read all of them, but I'm gonna start with the one that I chose. I'm gonna go make myself some pizza now because I love pizza and I'm gonna read a little bit. I'd love to know if you've read any of the books that I mentioned and what you thought, and I will see you soon. Bye!